So I want to share a personal experience with you guys on how powerful the method that we are using actually is. In fact, this incident is what sealed my decision to pursue it professionally. At that point, I was just studying the method, kind of looking into it. But after this happened, I'm like, this is for real. This stuff really works and it is for real. So let me tell you about what happened. In Relationship X, and Relationship X is um, another subject um, that you can look up on our playlist. I'm not going to go into what it is, how it works. Um, I'm going to cut out a lot of explanations here as far as terms, so please go ahead and look them up on your own. But when you are in a, a Relationship X, you deal with a lot of boundary relations. And... Anger, obviously, is that's what comes from boundary violations when you're in a relationship like this. I'm not going to bore you with the details of what he did. Again, in the interest of time, let's just say it was a legitimate boundary violation. Boundaries is another subject that you can look up uh, among our videos and playlists. Um, let's just say... Sometimes a question comes up, it's like, hey, you know, should or should I not get mad? Is it a legitimate boundary violation or is it not? So in this uh, particular incident, let's say if a person has um, a lot of art supplies, which she hasn't been using because she was working on other projects at school and so forth, and they're all shoved into a closet, I mean, not making a mess anywhere in the house, shoved in the closet, but maybe not in the most organized manner and haven't been used for a while. Is it a boundary violation to say, hey, that clutter needs to go? Well, after all, maybe I myself had thoughts that, yeah, that closet needs to be gone through. So is it legit to bring it up to me? You have too much stuff and it's cluttered. But again, that's um, a subject for a different video. Um, let's fast forward and say in that particular case, that was a legitimate boundary violation with all the dynamics, how it all came out. And I was mad. And when your boundary is violated, anger type A results. That's again, a separate subject, yet one more separate subject that you can look up. So um, you're angry, your boundary has been violated. I'm driving to work and I can't even think because I'm just steaming over this whole thing. And this, by the way, is um, bioenergetically, physiologically warranted. Again, uh, we do explain what happens there and why you can't think when you're angry and how to deal with that. And so um, as I'm driving to work, I'm like, okay, so I'm studying this new method. So I know all the subjects that I just sent you to our playlist to research. I know how it all happens, what the dynamics are, how to deal with them. So, okay, I'm angry because my boundary has been violated. Okay, so I know this. I know theoretically what I need to do. But why is this emotion still with me now that I know this? So I kind of thought through the dynamics, um, did some workup uh, using the techniques that I know. It's like, okay, Helena, let's do with this deal. Let, let, let's deal with this. There is no need to lose the whole day of being productive because now you're short-circuited. You can't think. So what can you do? And there are things that I could do, I've done them, and I felt better. So I'm like, okay, well, I can think, I can concentrate, goal accomplished, and I went to work, so it works, right? It did not really dawn on me on about the power that it actually had until I was driving home from work. And I look back on the day, and I'm like, wow. 
look at all this energy that I had during the day. I literally accomplished more in that day than I did in the entire week before. I mean, I'm like seeing the opportunities. I'm seeing what needs to be done. When I see what needs to be done, instead of sitting there, it's like, oh, gee, you know, I'm overwhelmed, this and this and that. I'm just seeing how it all needs to come together, what needs to be done now, what needs to be done later. It's just all snapping together. I'm just like in the flow, things are happening and I'm making them happen. And so that was unmistakable difference from being overwhelmed, being kind of stuck, um, being almost fearful to take certain steps to just running with it. It's like differences when you just come to work and it's like, oh, you know, everything's dragging, I'm overwhelmed, there is a whole list of things, I don't know where to start, to when you come and you're excited about things, and you're like, yeah, you know, let's get this done, guys, you know, just moving forward with that, and it's like, wow, like, like I already said, I literally accomplished more in that day than I did in the entire week prior, this is golden truth, you guys, that's a fact, and I'm like, wow, where did I have this energy from? Why did I have this energy boost? And I'm like, well, I took that energy of anger and I converted that energy just like I was supposed to do into, you know, from destructive to productive, like we explain nuclear energy, right? You can make a bomb or you can harness that energy and make electricity. So that's what we do psychologically in the method. And it worked. And I'm like, I can't believe the results. So that's what sealed my decision to pursue the method professionally because the difference was absolutely unmistakable. That's what told me, hey, it's not just talk, you know, like there is a lot of, um, you know, a lot of things. Hey, you know, if you do this method and, you know, you organize uh, this and that, then you're going to have productive results and you try it and, you know, results are really marginal. But that was for real. That did happen to me. And this is why I'm on a mission to work this method and to bring it to you guys. If I created more questions than I answered with this presentation, again, pardon me, I'm trying to keep it brief. Just go to the playlists and research, and I am absolutely certain it's going to make as much of a change in your life as it did mine. Thank you. I'm Helena with um, Triumph Over Great.